So what's up y'all? I'm up in Lake Charles. I'm off the side of Interstate 10. I'm about to head to do an overnighter and to go swimming at Rutherford Beach and uh, I had a small lunch today so this is pretty sweet. A brisket burger from the gas station in Lake Charles. But let me get on the road and I'll turn y'all back on when I get to Rutherford Beach. So y'all I just passed a um, thing that was Cameron Prairie. I wish I had time to check it out. But there's supposed to be a boardwalk up here. I might do a quick little rundown of it. Because I want to still have time to go uh, walk the beach while there's daylight out. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting real, real, real good. Um, uh, how would I put it? Real good, um, like, Grand Isle vibes. I just got passed out by a sedan with beach poles sticking out. That's always a good sign. Oh, coming up to a big-ass bridge. Let me turn y'all off before uh, I crash in this bad boy. It's a pretty cool little cattails on both sides of the road. Look. Oh yeah, that's pretty marsh. So far, so good. Just enjoying the sights. Well, this sucks, y'all. Maybe I'll put my feet in it. Louisiana and my world main high levels of bacteria. Crap. Can't kill me to put my feet in it. Well, we're here. Let me go find me a spot. Oof. I shouldn't really be scared. I got four-wheel drive in sand mode, but I ain't never used it. So I'm going to stay on the top side of the road. And I'm going to turn around and face out. Seems like, boy, this looks like a good spot close to the porta potties turn around and then I'm going to go for a walk with a good old beer. I'll put my tent up later. It takes two seconds. Oh, park. Not reverse, not park. Oh, this is beautiful. The wind feels good already. The rumors are true of finding shells. Nice right there. I want to save some baby doll and for a uh, little, little baby doll. But this is beautiful, y'all. Like 40 minutes out of Lake Charles. A free beach to camp on. And I imagine when it ain't gale force winds, you can come fish on it. That Rutherford Beach, Louisiana. Now I think it's time for a step two and we're going to go walk. Smokes, look at all the shells, y'all. Feed in, let's go. Oh, that feels good. It was hot as hell, y'all, today. I hope you can hear me over the wind. Pretty soon. Look at that giant conch shell. Holy smokes. Oh, it's only one side, but man, that would have been beautiful all together. Oh, this is beautiful, y'all. We definitely gonna have to come back for a family adventure to Rutherford Beach. That was a little scary, even though I got sand mode on my Jeep. But, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere, so why risk it? But yeah, uh, it's pretty. I'm walking to the end, but I got the car all the way at the end. I seen a cool, um, like custom camper rig. It was a um, an old ambulance kitted out. Then I seen a nice truck camper rig that I would like to talk to the person about. I'm always on the hunt for a cool rig. I hope y'all can hear me with this wind. I know someone in the comments is probably gonna prove me wrong that sand's crushed up shells anyway, but you see that? That's not the sand color. Look, that's like a, there's like a coating of crushed up shells here. I don't know what type of flower that is. It's a lot of other YouTubers, but uh, jam but I just gotta say it's beautiful it reminds me 
and my wife. It's beautiful and tough because it's holding up to the wind. Shameless pour to shots out to my wife. Love you, Michelle. Just uh, walking and exploring the beach. Oh boy, stuck like Chuck. Nice fan would make a nice camper rig. Holy smokes. Yeah, better call a rocker. Obviously, he's not a lot, but someone caught a shark and left him. That's rough. you don't want to fish like them two baby sharks I think I filmed one of them just throw them back or to even a small shark like, like that do people still have a, um, you know like a fear from jaws or whatever now this thing that's a massive gas top but there's no love boss but the only bad thing is when they um, rot you'll step on their fins and stuff but you know why kill a shark? I hope y'all can hear me. The wind is whipping. I'm walking back to to camp and set up camp. <laughs> and then I'm going to walk the other way and go check it out. Rutherford Beach. Enjoy my life. For some reason behind these rocks, y'all, if you can tell, listen to my feet. Solid rock. I mean, solid shell. This is awesome. I wonder why someone in the comments that's more knowledgeable about Rutherford Beach than me. How at a boy. Oh yeah, it's looking dark, but still pretty looking. It's a nice little low-key overnighter that hopefully I come back with my little family, with my wife or my dad sound like he would come back here for a weekend. Maybe we get Pete out here. And uh, seems like a prime time spot to come uh, camp, fish, and drink and be merry. Look at that sunset. Coming through the clouds. The GoPro don't pick it up too much. Watch for rip current. And we're gonna use old road clothes signs. I mean old street signs to print on. Hey. If you ain't got the budget, make it happen. Southwest Louisiana, y'all. I wonder how hard from Hurricane Laura did this get hit. Zeta and Delta, holy crap. I might need to set up my tent pretty quickly. Crazy how low the tide is. All under my feet, it's kind of wet. Yeah, this is just a low tide. This is usually underwater right here. That's crazy. Look at that darkness over that way. Yikes. This would be the biggest test for the Nemo Dragonfly 2P. But if worse comes to worse, I can always hop in my car. Which isn't set up for camping. I apologize for the wind noise, but they, they ain't nothing I can really do right now. A dead cat would do nothing for this gale force wind.
So she's all set up. The only problem I ran in, uh, the handful of times I've camped on Grand Isle, but these stakes aren't really made for sand, so I had to beat them all the way in the ground. But yeah, she's up. So I got everything set up. Got the uh, the dragonfly and allegory all pinned down. I have my thermo rust pillow, my Nemo tensor in there. I have a cotton sleeping bag liner. But if I get chilly at night, which I doubt it, because the lowest is like 70, I have my uh, Aegis Max sleeping bag. But uh, polishing off another step two, I'm going to go walk and check out the other side of the um, the other side of the beach back this way before it's totally dark, because this camera shows it light as hell, but it's not. It is, oh shit, it's 8.06. It's past uh, dark time, so I'm going to go get a quick walk and then... I got a fire log. I meant to stop at Walmart, but I was tired of shit yesterday, y'all. 
I wanted a fire out here, so I'ma just I'ma just have a, um like a fire starter log and enjoy the fire and probably cook my dinner later because I'm not hungry right now. So let me get the beach combing. Danger rip currents. Also, they have a cool little shower and a, a water spigot. I imagine you can drink it. Rockin' Rutherford Beach. It is pretty cool, y'all. <laughs> I guess all the sandals they then found on the beach and stuff. Lawson found sandals. Holy smokes, that's a lot. A little thing you can take some pictures with. A whole bunch of Pokemon and a blue gem right now and a Pokestop. And back to combing the beach. Yeah, it's past dark, y'all. I'm surprised I got any light. I think that's the end of the road for Rutherford Beach. I can see the, uh, the little barriers and that's of a camp. So found a little bit of driftwood and stuff. So I'm going to start heading back by the car. Thank you, people from... Uh, hold, hold on, let me put on the light. Thank you, people from Shreveport. They offered me a blue crab and a Corona. I took them up on the Corona. Thank you. I'm about to start a fire. It's rough trying to get the fire started with the wind whipping, but hopefully it catches. And I got a couple boards, and I'll, I'll pluck some driftwood. And then people came in clutch. Thank you from Shreveport people. I wish I would have got your name. The fire is trying to start, y'all. It's just rough with this uh, wind. I tried to build like a little, uh, a little like heavy around it, but the wind's pretty rough. But the plus side, the wind kind of knocks away the horse flies or sand flies, whatever it is. They bite. That's all you need to know. And they're stupid enough that they let you kill them. Well, good night, y'all. I'm inside the tent, as you can see. And I uh, got my fan just to get some air going. But I don't think I'll have a problem with condensation because the wind's flowing. But uh, I think I'm going to relax and sit back and watch some YouTube and uh, call it a night. And I'll probably catch y'all in the morning. The outdoors is out. Rutherford Beach. What's up, folks? It's about 4.30. I'm going to hurry up, pack up. I had a good sweep. It wasn't hot. It had uh, a pretty good breeze, plus I had my little fan. But at about 2, they had like an ambulance or something that came through, and they, they stopped to talk to some people right in front of me. But I kind of camped at the very front of the place, so I kind of expected for cars to be going by. But... <sighs> my day begins let me pack this stuff up thank y'all for watching like comment subscribe and outdoorsman out i'll catch y'all on the next one look at this y'all i got a stowaway i think that's called like a fiddler crab you don't want to be under my tire bud by uh, rutherford beach I made sure I'm not running over my little crab buddy. And I'm going to stop at the dumpster and throw my trash out. I hope to be back with my little family or my dad and my brother. Because this place is pretty sweet. But yeah. I've been wanting to come to this place. Make sure I'm on the road before... Before I go off into something I'm not supposed to be in. There was supposed to be a welcome sign, but I didn't quite see it. But yeah, this was a fun little adventure. Exploring your home state. Oh no, not a crab. Don't want to run a over. Well, let me get back to the hotel and start my work day. Get out there and live life, y'all.